Um, so could you just like explain what's on here at the moment? Just so through this. Our this hero that we sort of call Sally. Uh, I actually have her named as that right now. You can switch. You can be male or female. Uh, but anyway, our hero <laughs> here is doing all of the same RuneScape skills that uh, RuneScape players do, that the World Guardian would do. And so I'm working on them. What's nice about the game and where the idle aspect kind of kicks in is I can actually continue my progress on these when I'm offline. So getting to 99 in any skill in RuneScape is a massive feat. You can do this with your phone off and show up. And, and it's still going to take a long time, but it's not going to be, you know, hundreds of hours of actively playing and chopping down trees, etc. cetera. Um, there's a lot of, of adventure capitalists we're leaning on. There's a ton of stuff from the audience like we've talked about. We actually have a, um, sorry, that's the quests. I wanted to show the world map. Oh, wow. We have a massive amount of places to go and it's going to get bigger. We're heading east next uh, and we have all of Gilinor to go to. So it's a huge, like we're trading on 15 years of history, right? Uh, but yeah, out of here, I mean, you can travel around and we have our um, combat system. So there's two sorts of modes. I can select what I'm going to go and attack with. So these are your e e the equipment that you're going to take into These are my system. combat skills. Right. Okay. Uh, and so uh, trading on that, the nice, like one thing about RuneScape that we wanted to be really careful about is you don't have to be a fighter in RuneScape. Right, yeah. You can just be the guy who mines forever. Uh, and we want to keep that, uh, we want to be faithful to that. So there are quests that will ask you to go do combat, but by no means is this a combat-focused game. And the narrative of the game actually asks you to uh, keep balance in the world and help. Like, like The main feat that you do is you train other citizens in towns to farm for themselves or to mine for themselves. So there's a very peaceful bent to this while you're sort of protecting them from monsters that are around. And it's a great way for us to bring in recognizable monsters and bosses that are from early quests or you know a lot of the classic nods yeah. still um, and adding some more action so because it's about balance you don't have to be, you're not just a good guy in this absolutely not i'll i'll uh, i want to go to a quest here to to show you something because um something that i do quite enjoy about the game is um will this finish the quest oh uh, it won't yet uh when i finish a quest here there we go. So when I go and do a quest, I'm talking to Weissen the Gardener here, who who is a well-known character. We have our narrative dialogue, like conversation, and now I can choose how I respond. Uh, sassy is a player <laughs> favorite right now, or silly. They get all over the place. Uh, but for instance, I can respond angrily to to Weissen, and he'll respond in kind. I'm still going to do the quest, but I can be the bad guy and antagonistic the whole way through if that's how I want to play. Uh, and yeah, and then I have things that I'll fulfill for him, but it changes the color of how you interact with the world, even though this is still on paper supposed to be a very simple idle game, right? That we can do bigger, uh, more ambitious things because we're working in RuneScape and because we have players who have the appetite for this, right? Yeah. Wow, that, that's absolutely incredible.